Sun Ra and his intergalactic research orchestra. Now, some of it was great, but an enormous amount seemed to be rather self-indulgent showing off. What started as a brilliant piece of improvisation on a synthesizer, for instance, just went on and on. The light show wasn't even as good as Aunt Mabel's holiday transparencies. Yet underneath it all was this splendid musician, a mystic who inspires enormous loyalty in his men, some of whom have been with him for 16 years. Now, I've got the full spool of tape of Sun Ra's conversation, and most of it goes like this. Some composers don't have to go, I doubt whether any of it have to go through what I have to go through with, because I'm doing things on a sort of psychic, spiritual plane. And this plan is all geared for uh, materialistic things, and it's all kind of oppositions that not, doesn't necessarily come from people. It's just a hangover from them having done so much uh, against those who are spiritual mind and trying to make a better planet. And this hangover of resistance laying around in the air quite often gathers images together and uh, do things to try to, uh, not exactly to frustrate, but just to put blocks in the way. It's the good vibes and the bad vibes that some of the progressive pop people are always on about. At one point, Sun Ra said he was wondering if he was really an angel, and he talked of his ability to prophesy. But Willie the Lion Smith talks of vibrations and believes in supernatural powers, and nobody says he doesn't play jazz. And at one point, on one point only, I did get Sun Ra to be specific on those astonishing records he made 13 years ago, which still sound original today. I don't, just don't see what he's on about now, whatever plane he works on, but Sun Song and Sound of Joy were and are superlative records. When I made them, I told it that the musician involved, that uh, everything had to be precision and different because those records, in a sense, would uh, be a revelation to people. They had to demonstrate, first of all, precision and different and have an element of timelessness in it where it wouldn't uh, really be old in a sense, the old fashioned, whatever person would hear it, they would hear the spiritual quality in it. Although it might be hidden or disguised, it would still be there. They play the record, they would hear something they couldn't hear in other music. comes from one of Sun Ra's ancient LPs, The Sound of Joy.